Uh, hello, this is uh, Meet Max, and today we are for our first episode. We are doing a special thing. We are cooking some uh, steaks. So these will be really good. We have the pa uh, get pan going right now, and we're gonna throw these on and have a delicious meal. All right, so now we're just gonna put them on the grill, nice and easy like this. Let's get these other ones, put them on the grill, and it's gonna be really, really delicious. So you may ask, what did I season these with? Alright, so the uh, seasonings I'm using is this, the Great Canadian Steak Seasoning. This stuff is amazing, like, it's the best I've ever not used. And here we have this uh, compound butter I made yesterday. It's uh, rosemary and garlic butter, and I added a little bit of this. It's really, really good. And at the end, we're just going to add some rosemary, and this is going to be, like, the best steak ever. Alright, so these steaks have been on for about a minute and a half, and a way I like to tell if they're ready to flip is like if you budge them a bit and they and they move freely, that means that they're ready to flip. So look at that nice golden sear. This pan is a little weird, so you might not get all the sear you want out of the steaks, but it'll still be really, really delicious. So yeah, um, that's how I flip it. Alright, so we're back, and I'm just going to flip these steaks real quick. The reason the, they have been, the reason I'm cooking on a, a like, pure sear like this is because these steaks are pretty thin. So, like, if I put it in the oven, they might, like, burn a little faster than I would like. But in, if, in the oven with a thick steak, like, you can get the perfect temperature easy and then just sear it. So, right, that's why I'm doing the this pure sear method right here. So, these steaks are pretty much done, but with, some of these have a lot of, like, big fat caps. So what you just want to do is rest it on the fat cap and hold it up on, on the fat cap, cap right there. That'll render the fat cap and make it really good and crispy, and that's like the most delicious part when you do that. Now what I like to do is I put a grill of butter on there, for my compound butter, and I just put a steak on top. Then while it's resting, all those juices will just fall onto the steak, and it'll all fall in love, and it'll, it'll be like the most delicious thing you've ever had. Alright, so this steak is perfect. It's like the perfect medium rare for me. I like, this is going to be so good. Let's try it. Oh, oh. Mm. oh that's so good. Mm. Alright, so we got my brother over here to see what he thinks about this delicious steak. Hallelujah. What do you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this steak is delicious. Thank you for watching, and remember to watch Meat Max.